Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to clean up your computer with Bleachbit. Quite a few people have used Bleachbit on our Discord server. One person in particular said he had problems after he run it, he had to reinstall his operating system. And there's some things you shouldn't do uh, with uh, Bleachbit if you've got an SSD or an NVMe drive. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today in this video. So first off, let's talk about one of the things that you shouldn't be doing with your SSD, which I see people still doing today, which is using defrag software on an SSD or NVMe drive. Now, if you right click on your drive and go properties and then go optimize, you'll see there is a feature inside Windows, which is built in here, which was the defragment tool. Now, the defragger used to be used on your mechanical drives but now it uses a trim command or trim and you can see here last retrim was done on my c drive some time ago and if you was to click on optimize it will start running a trimmed command on that drive so what does trim do well trim will basically tell the ssd that specific areas contain data that is no longer in use and it will erase those areas from the drive safely and uh, in a in a more detailed, you can go online and look at what does a trim command do. And there's plenty of deep explanations about how it works and what it actually does. But it really, it's going to be a safer way of removing uh, deleted data off the drive. And it's not going to put a lot of wear and tear on that drive. So running it through Windows uh, is OK. There was a problem with Windows when it was defragging the SSD instead of using a trim command and it was using the defrag and it was constantly defragging the drive which was putting a lot of wear and tear on an ssd it's now using the correct method you and people were turning off the scheduled uh, task to stop that from happening and you can go in here and turn it off if you don't want windows to constantly uh, optimize your drive and trim the drive for you you can do it manually yourself and you can do it by using that method there now, another big problem in 2022 is software. A lot of software companies will make articles online and they will convince you that you need to defrag your drive, optimize your drive, get much more speed out of your drive by using their software and make it ultra fast, as you can see here with the diagrams. And this is exactly what they're trying to do is hook you in and make you buy their software. You've got Defragler, which has been around a long time. It's free. And again, you've got other new kids on the block like O and O defrag. Do you really need them? No, you don't. Windows will take care of a lot of this in the background. If you want to turn Windows one off and just run the trim command, you can do. Your software that you get with your drive will generally take care of it as well. So for instance, if you buy a Samsung drive, normally this comes with uh, software and you can install that and it will manage the actual drive itself. You don't need to go out and start buying other software like this, which is telling you your drive is fragmented, 36.22%, and then you run the defragger and it will defrag your drive. It's gonna put a lot of wear and tear on the drive. And when I run this piece of software, my machine started whirring up really big, and that's because it was working away. And I'm using this just to show you an example of what this software is and what it does. Stop using software like this on your PC. You don't need to use software like this. Uh, Windows does a pretty good job. Yes, they had issues with it in the past where it was defragging instead of using the trim command on your SSD, but basically that has been resolved now. You can always disable that program inside of Windows and use the manufacturer software that come with your SSD or NVMe drive, and basically that will take care of a lot of it as well. So be very careful when you're using programs like this on your SSD because it can add a lot of wear and tear to the drive. Now, a lot of these software companies also bundle in other things like uninstallers, a check and repair, and also a disk cleanup, which is cleaning up all your temporary files, internet cache and Windows update cache and all the other junk that gets built up on your PC. But Windows does have built in tools that can take care of this for you. So you don't need to rush out and download software to take care of all your junk files or even uh, defrag or trim your drive because Windows also does that as well. So bear all that in mind. Now, if you open up command prompt, you can check to see whether trim is enabled on your system. Run this as administrator. Inside here, you can type in this command here and basically it will tell you whether you've got 
uh, trim enabled and you can see with zero there equals zero that means trim has been enabled on this system and it's going to run and use the trim command for me and clean up uh, my drive for me without running defrag software and all this sort of other stuff that can put a lot of wear and tear on your drive so let's now take a look at bleach bit because that's what people wanted to see but i just want to make sure we covered all the bases on the other topics as well so this is bleach bit it's a free piece of software you can download and it will clean your drive you can see there's quite a lot of information here on this system that's because i'm using the custom download uh, from the community which gives me access to a lot more uh, data to be cleaned on the system now where people go wrong is they start check marking every single box and then they run it and they start running deep scan and it will literally scrub the drive and it can take a long time to complete that task now you can highlight any of these and look at the preview tab and this will tell you basically uh, what it's going to remove so let me go to something a little bit more informational here like office when i click preview you can see it tells me what it's going to actually delete off the system and there's a lot of bin files on here so be very careful what you select because you don't want uh, you know bleach bit scrubbing the drive and doing deep cleans on the drive and this is what i think uh, rock and roll rebel did on our discord server and he had to then reinstall windows because he probably didn't give it long enough to run the process it does freeze up when you use that method because it is literally filling the drive up and then clearing all of the free space as well so be very careful on what you select you don't need to run all of the hardcore scrubbing processes so looking up on the top left here you can see there's some preferences here and if you want to download uh, the latest uh, win app to dot any file here from the community you can do i've already downloaded it and this is why you get a lot more selection you can overwrite contents of files to prevent recovery be careful because if you are overwriting contents of files to prevent any recovery and you make a mistake and you delete files that you wanted to try and recover you're not going to be able to recover that data so be very careful also this does add more time to the cleaning process because it has to overwrite that data to make it non-recoverable. So be very careful if you're selecting that option. Next up, custom. You can add custom files and folders to this location to be cleaned. So anything in that folder will be cleaned if you add a custom area. Drivers, if you want to clean this area, you can add drivers area and add and remove those. Whitelist, it will ignore these areas and you can add folders in there that you can protect so it doesn't go off and start scrubbing and cleaning those folders or files on that drive. Again, you can download updates uh, for this using this method. You can see download and update cleaners from the community, winapp2.ini. This will give you much more areas to clean on Windows. People have added more areas on here. So if you want to use that, then download it. And once it's downloaded and installed, shut the program down, reopen it, and it will allow you to get more options like you can see here. OK, so let's talk about what other options you shouldn't be checkmarking on here and running on a regular basis because it will add wear and tear on your drive and also take a very long time. In the system area, there's an area called uh, free disk space. You can see here that this option is very slow. It's going to fill up your disk and then basically delete that whole folder, overwrite it, secure erase it, and it will stop that data from being recovered on your computer. So you shouldn't be running this particular option on a regular basis because it is going to add wear and tear to your drive. Also, it will make uh, data recovery impossible if you start running this option. So you want to try to avoid running that on a regular basis. Now, if you're selling your computer and you've reinstalled Windows, you can run something like this and it will stop that data from being recovered so i would not check mark this and this is probably what a lot of people run into issues with they start check marking stuff that they don't understand so do a bit of research if you highlight it you can see here overwrite free disk space to hide deleted files delete user uh, specified files and folders and you can see deletes the cache and, and all that sort of stuff it's going to make it impossible to recover this so just make sure that if you are check marking that be prepared for a long uh, wait because it does take a long time to complete. Some of the other stuff you can check mark, 
But again, be careful with that one and also some of the deep scanning as well. So just leave the deep scanning options uh, unchecked marked and also leave the uh, free space unchecked marked. You can check whatever else you like inside the uh, browsers. You can also clear all this stuff out, but be careful. Some of this will remove uh, bookmark icons and other things like that from your browser, and it may uh, obviously remove more than what you need. So just check mark some of the stuff that you need. See, bookmark backups is going to remove all of that from there if you leave the check mark all function. So only check mark singular uh, boxes on stuff that you want to remove. Passwords will be removed. And again, if you don't know the passwords for that, it's going to stop you from recovering those. You also have a shred files and folders option up the top left here. This will allow you to shred uh, files and folders, and this will stop them from being recovered. You also have white free space here, which also does take a long time, and it stops data from being recovered on that drive. So these options, you really want to sort of steer clear of, really, if you're using an SSD, if you're using a NVMe, or anything like that, because it is going to add wear and tear on that drive. Okay, so let's move on to actually making a cleaning video and just cleaning some of this. You'll see how quick it is when you select only a few things. So I've selected a bunch of stuff here and we'll just run a quick clean and you'll see that it doesn't take actually that long. So I've got my selections, I've closed off the other tabs and then just highlighted some of the stuff that I want to clean. And again, I've left that uh, free disk space and other options like deep cleaning up the top as well removed. And we're just going to run just the basic stuff here. And once you've got your selection, you can run the clean by hitting the clean tab here and it will say delete. And again, this will make this data unrecoverable. And you can see straight away, let's go ahead and click delete here and run it. It takes a few seconds and it'll go off and start cleaning all that junk off the system. And once it's done, it will tell you that the process is done. It shouldn't take that long. But if you start check marking all of those boxes, it's going to take a number of hours depending on the size of your drive. So that's what he probably did. And he ended up breaking his operating system because he probably stopped it halfway through the process, which obviously is never a good thing. Another thing I see people doing is disabling the search indexes and uh, things like that on their drive because they say it adds a lot of wear and tear to the drive. I don't think people realize how long an SSD will last. It will last a very long time if you look after it and you don't do silly things like I showed you here, like scrubbing a drive and also like uh, running defraggers and things like that on the drive. The drive will last a very long time, probably longer than what your computer is going to last. So bear that in mind as well. And if you don't do any of this sort of stuff on your PC, the drive will uh, outlast the PC itself. If you look at Crystal Disk Info here, it will tell you how long your drive has left. You can see health status on this drive has 99% left, and it will tell you basically all the total host reads, all the total host writes, how many writes and reads that drive has actually done, how many power on counts, how many times you've powered on the computer or that drive, and how many hours it's been on. And it will tell you that right there as well, and it will give you all that information. It also tells you whether it has features like trim. So check the features area there and it will tell you all that information right there. And if you've got any issues there, it'll also show up issues on that drive as well. So if you look after your drive, it should last you a very long time, as long as you're not doing stupid stuff on it. Anyway, if you do want to clean the drive, I've made videos showing you how to erase data on an SSD safely. Uh, go and check those videos out. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. <music>